Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the second swing golf out here today at Les Bolstead Golf Course on the driving range with Jake Montgomery. Jake is a master club fitter at the Minneapolis store nearby. And today, a fun driver comparison of the last three generations of tailor-made drivers, kind of looking at the standard or high MOI model in each of the last three series. So yep. tailor-made Stealth, tailor-made Stealth 2, and then now in 2024, tailor-made QI-10. So Jake, um, talk to me about what you've seen from tailor-made over the last you know, three years here, um, obviously they've kind of gone to that carbon era, yep. carbon wood era, or so to speak, over the last couple of years. So what have you seen from that? Is it working? Are mm -hmm. players liking it in the fitting bay? Yeah, I mean, the faces, I get a lot of positive feedback, especially players that like a softer feel. This carbon, when you hit, hit the ball, it feels great. Mm -hmm. um, see a very efficient transfer of energy. I mean, the carbon faces, they work. They, yeah. they do pretty well. So, I mean, the story with the stealth, they take a lot of the weight out of the face with it being carbon. They're able to reposition it in the back. That's a big story across this whole line is repositioning of weight. Yep. Uh, this is that first driver to do it. Taylor made Stealth too. They have the carbon face as well as a composite ring on the back. So as we go through this, they're really just taking more and more weight out of areas to reposition it really as far mm -hmm. back and as low as they can to help increase launch, increase forgiveness. Yep. Um, they also improve the inverted cone on this face as well, just made it a little bit more forgiving. Um, and then the QI here with their fully carbon crown, 97% carbon. They take a lot of the weight that's on the top of the driver, which gets the amp, or the uh, center of gravity higher. You don't yeah. want a high center of gravity in a driver. You want it very low and very back. So they take a lot of that mass out there. Again, reposition it back here. This, I would say, is hands down the best carbon wood they've made to date. Yeah. This is the biggest jump from the manufacturers that release a driver each year from year to year. The Stealth 2 to the QI was a pretty big difference. It's only May here, and I've already sold more QIs than I did Stealth 2s last really? year. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So clearly there's a, an affinity for golfers for the QI-10 uh, this year that maybe there wasn't with the Stealth family. So very interested in kind of to see the, the performance here mm -hmm. with the data as well. So yep. um, now talk to me about the test today. We have mm -hmm. a shaft in play here, and how are we going to do this? What loft are we using as well? Yeah. So these are all 10.5s that I'm going to loft down to 9. Okay. Uh, I'm going to draw the golf ball, so you loft the club down. It opens the face up a little bit. It also helps bring the flight down. We're going to hit a Ventus TR Blue 6X, okay. shaft I'm pretty familiar with. I like it a lot, so it'll be a pretty even comparison between the three. I like it. I like it. Well, let's let's hit some tailor-made drivers here. I'm going to see some bombs from you. Mm -hmm. We've done some testing already today, and Jake's been hitting the ball pretty well, so I'm excited to see what happens. Yeah, well, it continues. All right, out of the gate there. here Kinda with the stealth. Yeah, a little bit pushy at a start. Pretty good ball, though. Yeah, just a little bit of spin there. Yep. They said it was kind of a little bit higher, maybe on the face. Yeah. Let's smash okay. on that like 148. 150 on the smash. Oh, okay. Very efficient with the strike. Obviously, too, just a little bit uh, right in terms of yeah. alignment on the, ma on the map here. But that one is a lot more, r that is right at the target. Yeah, right down the line. And for those watching the screen here as well, it does say 5W. It's because I have to relabel everything with this yeah. launch monitor. So it, the 5W is the mm -hmm. TaylorMade Stealth, just so we're clear on that. Yeah. But that one was carry of 271, spin 2162. Mm -hmm. Really good golf shot there. How uh, close is that to the center line? Is that hit the pole? It is right next to it. Yeah. I mean, we're talking, <laughs> yeah, I got to zoom in pretty far. And it's still like right, yeah, that was very, very well hit. Yeah. Zoom out far enough and it's right on top of it. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Let her leak again. How was that one hit? Felt like it was pretty centered. Okay. Yeah, 270 carry, 148 smash. Just a spin of 3084 that time. Yeah, so that's a little a, bit higher on the spin. Didn't close my hands there. Oh, yeah. Goodness gracious. That had some hang time. That is also right next to the center line. Good deal. Okay, a little more spin. I kind of expected that with the flight. Yeah, so, and again, we're talking about, you know, this is a head and a setup that you're not typically used to playing. No. So, but um, what did you think, you know, before I kind of dive into some of these averages, what did you think about hitting the stealth there? I mean, it just feels solid. When you make contact with it, it has a nice thud to it. Like I said, people that like a little softer feel are going to enjoy this quite a bit. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you can definitely still feel the toe and the heel strikes, but. Again, it just feels solid. Yeah, and I, I personally like this the best out of kind of the recent TaylorMade drivers mm -hmm. in terms of the club head. I, I'm a, I prefer a matte finish on the yeah. driver, so I like that a lot. I like Absolutely. how they. I would just clean up kind of. I wouldn't even have that 
leading edge there. Mm -hmm. That's distinct. I wouldn't even do yeah. that. But that's, I'm not the engineer or the designer mm -hmm. here. So um, carry distance average, 264. Total was 287 on the spin rate. This is going to be the part where I think we're going to make some improvements yeah. throughout here. 2867 on that one. Yeah, yeah, definitely high. So a little bit high. And again, this is without sort of optimizing it and, mm -hmm. and all of those things. Um, the average club speed was 109.9. And the average ball speed is 162.4. So that comes out to a smash factor of 1.48. Yeah. And then in terms of apex height, we're at 110. And yeah. then the launch angle was at 11.8. So um, those are, I mean, those are really good numbers. Yeah, it's I mean, not I'm like pretty happy. Nothing to be um, ashamed of there by no. any means. I think, I think the idea, though, that if you were fitting to this person, mm -hmm. right, someone with this kind of club speed, you would try to bring that spin a little bit down. 100%. Yeah. So. Stealth 2 now. Mm -hmm. Do we think that spins going to climb down a little bit? I think it'll drop a little bit. Okay, let's see if it happens here. All right. Stealth 2. Mm -hmm. Now, the big difference for me that I see from this is just that crown being shiny now. Yeah, 100%. The shape of it's very, very similar. <clears throat> kind of that long, tailor-made toe that we're used to seeing. It's very rounded on the edge there. The center dot looks like it's kind of heel side, just based on the overall length of mm -hmm. the driver there. But... To the face, it's very centered. Okay. All right, let's see what the Stealth 2 can do here. Solid strike, just right. Just kind of a push? Yeah. There's a little bit of a, just a little bit of a miss, you think? Uh, my was face more is probably about... a few degrees more open than it should okay. be. Okay. More about, oh yeah, the face angle was open there. Yep. It actually didn't go as far right as I maybe thought it would have based on, on that, but. Yeah. That, that was better. One, that one's really good. Yep. Almost went over the net back there. 275 on the carry. Still a lot Spinning. of spin on that one, though. What's my attack on that? Your attack angle on that one was down okay. 1.1 degrees. Gotcha. That'll do it. Ooh. That one has less spin just yeah. by watching the ball flight there. Turn over a little bit. bit. Ripped after that one, too. 272 carry with that one. Okay. Yeah. Spin is still hanging up there. Interesting. Yeah. All right. A little overdraw there. Let's see what this one does because that spin should be lower. 2,800. So tw 272 carry. Again, you're, you're, you're swinging a little harder on this mm -hmm. and it's generating a little bit more distance. The spin is still kind of hovering up there a little yeah. bit. Um, so we're at an average of 2,850. Yeah. Let's get, actually, let's get one more here. We got four with that All one. Right. Let's get one more to make it an even five. Ooh. See, this is interesting. That's uh, the, the spin is still picking up pretty high. Yeah. Um, the ball is carrying farther though. Mm -hmm. So it's this is for a longer time. Yeah. So we have some numbers here to kind of peek at. Um, we'll go to the carry to start and you're hitting it eight yards further with yeah. the stealth versus or stealth two versus the stealth eight yards further. The total was pretty similar because mm -hmm. there's actually more spin yep. that was generated with the Stealth 2. Uh, so we'll look at that spin right here. And interesting, that is not what I would have expected. Mm -hmm. um, and, and again, this is a small sample size. We're using range balls out here. So there's some of that maybe at play here. Mm -hmm. Keep that in mind for the, the viewers. But um, your ball speed went up with the Stealth 2. You also swung it a little bit faster. Yeah. So that's definitely part of it. But because I think you're actually more efficient. Yeah, you're more efficient with mm -hmm. the Stealth at 1.48 1 to 1.46. Um, and then just looking at launch and height, both much higher with the Stealth 2. Yeah. So more launch, more spin mm -hmm. with Stealth 2 given in this, again, in this test. Yeah. Um, so with that said, how did it, did it feel any different? I know the, the face and materials are very, very similar mm -hmm. from Stealth to Stealth 2. I would say it definitely felt firmer. Did it? Okay. You could feel that. So they really reinforced the frame on this to try and maximize ball speed there. You can feel that it doesn't give quite as much. Um, okay. Face is similar, but I would say this definitely had a firmer feel overall okay. to the driver. Okay. Well, curious then, because as you mentioned, the biggest mm -hmm. jump this year, at least in what yes. you've seen in fittings, is Stealth 2 to QI 10. Mm -hmm. So let's grab that one and see how that one performs in the party here. Absolutely. So Jake? Mm -hmm. QI-10. Yes. Thoughts on, obviously, a much different look to me from here. I yeah. imagine it's different for you, too. The Infinity Crown just looks so much cleaner at the ball. You don't have this that kind leading of edge top there. line yeah. difference there. It just all flows together really well. Okay. Um, pretty glossy crown. You can see that cro or the uh, carbon fiber coming through in the sun. I think it looks pretty sweet. Yeah. Um, 
I play a Titleist driver, so this looks pretty familiar. Oh yeah, it does have kind of that similar look, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, TaylorMade QI10. A little high on the face. Okay, yeah, I'm curious about that one, because I could tell it didn't quite, I guess, jump. No. Yeah. Ball speed's down, spins <laughs> super low. Yeah, that sense. was definitely definitely a miss there a little bit, because your smash factor is 1.36. What'd that roll out to? Rolled out to 270. Okay. That one's much better. That's a little better. You definitely hit that one better, right? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. That was caught well. That was hit very well. Ripped after that one, too. That might be over the net. That was smoked. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my. Yeah. If someone's on hole 12, they are probably mad at us right now. 286 carry, ladies and gentlemen. That is by far the farthest carry of the day. We got one more to swing here. Let's uh, let's get that one done, and then we can go forward with some numbers here. Oh yeah, yeah. There's actually there is somebody out there playing, and they might need to watch out. Okay, I hit the net. Oh, it did. Okay, it was a little lower. Okay, so Ooh. this is we have some fascinating stuff to look at here. Now, the granted, I think in those five swings there was a little bit more variance than yeah. the stealth and stealth too, because you had kind of the one miss that we. Mm -hmm. We kind of kept in there at the beginning where you hit it at one point, I think three six smash. Okay. But we're gonna keep it in there just for the sake of, uh, you know, well maybe we'll keep it in there, maybe we'll move it. We'll see yeah. how this this goes here. But I wanted to bring up all the numbers here. So, two seventy three carry with QI ten. Mm -hmm. Those last couple were just nuked. Yeah, two eighty six, two eighty nine. Much further than anything you hit with stealth or yeah. stealth too. So, uh, the total farther again with QI ten. Mm -hmm. um, Spin rate here, much lower. Granted, yep. still in a kind of a weird, a little bit higher than normal, mm -hmm. I think. There was a couple of those that were a little bit kind of weirdly in the 3000s range, but those last two that you smoked were really good, obviously. Um, looking at, I'll go to club speed here first. You were swinging the Stealth 2, the fastest. Mm -hmm. QI 10 kind of right in the middle there yep. of the two. Um, and then the ball speed, however, uh, actually pretty good comparison all the way across the board. 162 to 163, pretty similar yep. in between the three of them. Uh, so if we go to the smash factor, see what was most efficient, pretty close all across the board. Mm -hmm. Stealth is actually the most efficient. Again, if I take out the 1.36 that you yeah. had with the QI 10, that probably moves that one. If we take that out, up. QI I think is going to be pretty well above you know everything I'm else. Let's do that right now. Yeah, we're going to see what happens here with that. And yeah, 148. Yep. And then, I mean, that also changes the rest of the average mm -hmm. a little bit, which we'll look at. But apex height, kind of right in the middle there, QI-10 at 120, which I know you were okay with, and 13 mm -hmm. degrees on the launch, yeah. which is pretty much in that window, I think. Um, I'll go back to the carry here just yeah, to see just what curious. happens with that. Yeah, 278 now. Okay, yeah. And then if we go to the spin rate, 29, because right, mm -hmm. that one actually spun a little bit lower on yes. that one. So um, ball speed, too, up to 165.6. So. Mm -hmm. Kind of saw some things that we expected. Took a took a couple swings to get into it, mm -hmm. but then some really good swings towards the end yes. of the QI10 session there. Yeah, I mean, we saw really good ball speed, really good launch, better spin rate. I mean, we're seeing a higher overall spin rate, I think just because, you know, we're using some range balls yeah. here. Um, but what we saw there is pretty similar to what I see in the Bay. This QI10 made a big leap from last year's Cell 2. Yeah. Faster ball speeds, spin staying a little bit better. We're seeing a lot further carry. I'm not surprised by the results of this test. Yeah, yeah. And also, too, I mean, I'll, I'll give you the kind of the dispersion mm -hmm. map, right? So those two drives that you had, just absolutely obliterating the yeah. rest of them out there. And even the two that are kind of, yeah, I think I, I think we watched them, they were kind of almost, I want to say duck hooks, but they were mm -hmm. kind of low almost. Yeah. They still carried out there plenty far where mm -hmm. you wouldn't really expect. So I think really good stuff here from the QI-10. I think what you said about the Stealth 2 jump to the QI-10, I think a lot of what we saw today kind of does give some, you know, support for that yeah. theory. Yeah. Uh, the test there is pretty realistic for what I see in the bay. Yeah, I think we have some, I mean, again, TaylorMade, they always make excellent stuff. Mm -hmm. um, Stealth, Stealth 2 and QI-10, all great, great drivers. Um, I think what you're saying and what I've heard from fitters too is that QI-10 is really kind of delivered this year. Yeah, so it's a great club. Um, Golfer schedule of fitting for a TaylorMade driver this year. Stealth and Stealth 2, excellent used options. And of course the QI-10, you can get custom fit in the tour van this year in 2024. Someone like Jake will get you set up and uh, customize and hitting better tee shots. So great stuff today, Jake. Thanks for, thanks for hitting the shots and breaking down everything for us. Thanks for having me.